Hi friends, good evening. My name is Vikram Singh and I am the director of admissions at Jindal Global Business School. Today we are here to hear my JGPS story of Gundeep Kaur. Gundeep is a resident of Saranpur and an alumni of CGM Beverly Hills and Pinewood School Saranpur and currently ending up with her second year of BBA honors at Jindal Global Business School. This is a very different initiative where we will be talking about my story. My story covers everything of life inside classroom, life outside classroom. We have with us Gundeep who will be sharing her journey, her experiences <clears throat> for the last two years along with her future aspirations, what she wished to do now after she completes her study after one year. So, welcome Gundeep and it is a pleasure to have you here today. Thank you, sir. First question, how easy or tough was it to convince your parents for admission at Jindal Global University? So, sir, this was like, it was easy for me because I've already uh, studied in uh, CJM Waverly, Missouri and it was a hostel. So, my parents were like happy to send me there. So it was not tough for me to convince them because they know that it's my future after all and I have to grow and build up like a different kind of uh, style and like to get, I mean I should get an opportunities, different opportunities. So it was easy for me. So your parents were supportive? Yeah, my parents were supportive. Okay. Yeah. When was the first time you happened to be at the Jindal University campus? So, I um, I remember that I came with uh, open house, I mean op when there was an open house for Delhi students. So that time I came and that time uh, we looked around the campus and my parents were happy to see the campus by seeing the safety rules also and by uh, seeing the campus infrastructure and everything. So okay. Was, Having spent two years of your life at JGU campus, <clears throat> as a female, uh, this question has often been asked from parents who come from Bombay and Bangalore looking at Haryana. Correct. How safe is the campus for a female student? So, sir, there are different kind of people and you meet different like different kind of people and there are, is different cultures. So, uh, you have to build up your own confidence and you have to make up yourself that you have to meet different people and so like uh, after the classes it's like if you have a good group of friends so you can hang out and you enjoy and suddenly you tell your parents everything that we did this we did this we did this okay yeah. so you just now mentioned that you have a huge diversity inside the campus yeah so uh, how many friends are you able to make in these two years so and I... where are they from if i may ask you yeah yeah sure so as I mean, uh, when there was a first class, I was sitting all alone, there was nobody and then slowly, slowly I made some friends and one, my, one of my friends is already, I mean, is from Meerut and she was in hostel also in CGM Waverly. So like we both were like in good terms and we were able to cope up easily because I was with her only most of the time and eventually I made new friends and then Life is simple Yeah, so, uh, it is simple <coughs> Okay, now what are your future aspirations? You are completing your two years of study and there comes a point in our life when we have to decide should I go for a job or should I go for higher studies? Correct? So what are your future plans, Kundeep? So to be very honest, I am confused right now whether to go for a job or whether to go for an MBA because I think that going for a job is a better option for me because I have an experience of one or two years. So that Experience of? Like for the job, okay. like job experience. Right? And like, but then also I have, I mean, my mind is going on like uh, whether to go for an MBA also because that is also a good option. So have you discussed this problem with your professors or anybody uh, who can guide you or share some insights? No sir, not yet. Not yet, okay. 
So, have you discussed it with your parents? What do they feel? So, How open are they taking up a job if you, in case you are aspiring for? So, even they are also like even they are also confused. They they are saying that it's depend upon you that whether you want. I mean, whether you are interested for a job or whether you are interested for an MBA, it's all up to you. But take a right decision, like discuss with the professors or discuss to whom you trust the most and then take the decision. I must say you have got very good parents who are listening to you at every point of time because in <laughs> India it is very difficult to convince a parent yes, then to convince a child. Yes, so uh, you are now entering into the third year of your BBA. Which BBA specialization are you planning to pursue as an elective? So maybe an HR or finance. Okay. But it's not yet decided. But most probably I will go to an HR. Okay. Yeah. So uh, would you like to tell us uh, if, in case you have any experience through internships, have you done any internships? Yeah, I have done three, four internships. Three, four internships. Yeah. Wow. So that means you are in your fourth semester, and yeah. you are doing internships after every semester. Yeah. Wonderful. Please, I would like to know a bit uh, more about that. One them. internship I did in an NGO that is Renu Karan Welfare Foundation and the second internship I did it in my own hotel, Masuri Drive-In, so as a manager I did it and third also in a hotel only I did it in Lucknow Hotel Walk-In and the fourth internship I did in uh, Pristine Care, Gurgaon. Okay, Yeah. so uh, you have already have the first hand experience of a job, correct? Yes, so, what do you feel is the toughest part during your internship? So, so to get up early and then go and then sit for long hours and then coming back home and then you just want ki that now you have to relax because some people, I mean, they have a mindset that doing an internship is easy because just go to the office, come back early like 6 or 7 then go and have some party or something. But that is not at all like what they think that internship I was about is. to ask this question because you said I did internship in my own hotel in Missouri. Yeah. So I was about to ask you, did you enter that premise as an intern or did you enter uh, the hotel as an owner? <laughs> So as an intern, I entered it and I learned a lot of things from there, like through all my internships. But I mean, doing an internship is obviously a good experience and like you get prepared for the future also. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, Gundeep, uh, what are the few messages w which you would love to give to any of the juniors who are currently studying in the program? of BBA honours or maybe anyone who is planning to start their graduation journey now? So, so I would like to give the suggestions like when you are coming to the college you meet different kind of people as I have already mentioned different kind of cultures and you should learn how to build up with them and how I mean how to make new friends and like easily so there you will meet a lot of people some people will be like uh, who will judge you or who will not like you but you just ignore them mm. and go ahead with them but in college in college you will learn how to succeed i mean college is the best time for you to learn that you'll succeed or you'll fail as there is only two options either you'll succeed or you'll fail so you should never give up and you should always come back that i can do it Okay, you so yeah. never give up is first message from Gundeep to every student who is planning to start the journey from school to college. Yeah, Next, you should never give up and you should always uh, build up your confidence and you have to be confident enough when you are coming to the college as in a different way. So you have to pick your choices correctly. What Gundeep wants to explain, yes. you would find people with every kind of intentions. Yeah. And college is a journey where you must learn how to fall but at the same time you have to rise again and again. Yes sir. So with that we would like to close the session for today and we had our guest Gundeep who, was a, who is a student 
of the second year BBA honors program at Jindal Global Business School. She was explaining her JGBA story today and we look forward for your bright future and I hope sooner or later you should get the answer to your question should you go for a job or should you go for a higher study that is still a question <laughs> that definitely you should discuss with your professors yes. because having four internships now on your cv i personally feel you should go for a job you should work for minimum two years and then after gaining relevant experience you should aspire to do an mba either from india or abroad so practical knowledge is very very important of course uh, job after graduation is not easy gundeep because it expects a lot yes sir long working hours no weekends yes sir no timings for your breakfast lunch and dinner but yes one thing which definitely you will get is a confidence that you know everything straight from the ground yes. and that matters most so all the best kundeep it Thank was a pleasure you, to have you today and we look forward to meet few more students who will be unfolding their stories at jindal global university thank you for listening us good day and see you soon bye